Okay, here's another area of modification that works exceptionally well for Keith Blacks. But if you're really going to detail a performance motor, you do it to all of them. But there is a hidden benefit on the Keith Blacks. Now let's see if you can get the luster here. Okay, first thing I did was I take a 50 grit sand roll and I go over all these corners. You can see it in the little marks where my 50 grit hit it. I come all the way out the edge. And that, what that does is from the factory, they're just a touch to the sharp side. Now we all know that detonation occurs in a sharp area if the octane is low enough will set off the spark before the spark plug does. Okay, we all know that. So I go in here and bring all that down with a sand roll. But now here's where it gets good. Years ago we played with this and it used to talk about it in the Keith Black book where when they're doing the machining process, the pores of the top of the piston are left open. Now, as we all know, the super high silicone content of this piston, I'm thinking it's 16%, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's higher than everything else. Keith Black is the only true hyper-eutectic that has the high silicone content. That's why you have to run such big in-ring gaps on the top ring because of the heat that it's holding here, which that is excellent horsepower builder. You get into thermal conductivity, and what you got is because it's silicone, that's a horsepower. But here's another trick for you guys. Once you go in there and break the edges where there would be detonation, uh, we took a, a compound, a rough rubbing compound and a buffer and just buff the fire out of it all the way on top. Now we had it taped off so nothing went on the edges but we buffed it, wiped it off and put a thinning compound on it and then went on there probably spending as much as 30 minutes on each piston on the top. If you was here and you felt it you'd say wow but uh, it is a really fine polish and when we were doing it you could see the silicone where it was doing the buffing was turning black and gray and rolling down the edges where the tape was. Well, according to the Keith Black book, what that does is where the, where the CNC cutters went in there and they cut the top of the piston, leaving the pores open. When you go in there with that compound and concentrate and polish this really fine like this is, I mean, this is a fine polish. It's probably 400 grit, smooth to the touch. It builds a thermal barrier, almost like a coating on top of the piston. And, of course, if you do the combustion chamber in the same fashion, we know what that does, right? It creates more horsepower. I uh, used to have a friend that worked at Keith Black, and they'd done dyno development. And years ago, when they were first playing with him, and he told me as much as four horsepower, Maybe five can be gained by doing this to the top of these pistons. So we did it. So we got maximum thermal conductivity. I would still do it to any piston just for detonation purpose, but, but this one here is a horsepower gain. So anyway, I wanted to point that out to you and show you. This is a D-shaped cup. Big valve release for the for Holder's Boulder 336 stroker motor. 336 because it's 40 over. I wanted to get that right because Mr. Boulder has a problem with that. All right, anyway, there we go on the Keith Black piston showing what we've done in the polishing. It's a two-step process, a rough rubbing compound, then a fine. He used stuff that we he uses on body work at his body shop, uh, which is Elliott and Holder Body Shop in Pleasant View, Tennessee. So